Our top story at six. Tax hikes and millions cut from the Austin Police Department. That's what City Manager Spencer Kroc proposed today in his budget plan. Jenny Lee is live at police headquarters and Jenny, community activists had asked for much deeper cuts. What do they think about this proposal? Well, Quita, the head of the Austin Justice Coalition, like you said, asked for $100 million to be cut from APD's budget. And other community activists asked for as much as $225 million. So when word came out that it was $11.3 million, just 2.6% of APD's uh, entire budget, they were beyond disappointed. Meantime, Austin property taxpayers, get ready to pay up. A typical Austinite can expect to see a combined tax and fee bill increase of only one dollar per month. That's how much Austin City Manager Spencer Cronk says the proposed 3.5 percent tax hike will cost us about a dollar. But he's slashing $11.3 million from APD's budget. That $11.3 million comes from 100 vacant officer positions, a delayed July cadet class, a delay of replacing duty weapons, and transferring Austin Center for Event Staff to Development Services. Instead, Kronk wants that $11.3 million to go towards services like enhancing the work of the Office of Police Oversight and Equity Office, rewriting APD's general orders, improving mental health response, in a new civil rights office. Defunding police is what Chaz Moore and other activists have been asking for, but the head of the Austin Justice Coalition wanted a hundred million cut from APD's coffers. We have a very far way to go um, before we get to a budget that I think reflects the current time that we're in, right? I think we have a very long way to go before we have a budget that people can um, and when I say people, I mean the community can be proud of to say, hey, you know, I think we actually um, being heard. King Cassidy, head of the Austin Police Association, is also disappointed, even though both Cassidy and Moore agree, in theory, police need reform. We're disappointed in that. Um, yeah, we were trying to add 30 bodies this year. You know, the, the cold hard facts are is that COVID has not slowed Austin down as far as growth. There's still people moving here. Manager Kronk released a lot more information. We've got that information on KB.com. Council will discuss the budget for the first time next week in the meeting on July 23rd. We're live at police headquarters tonight, Jenny Lee, KV News.